Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to talk to you about some information that you really ought to know and to make sure that it doesn't slip by you because everybody should know about it and ultimately somebody should be accountable for it. So most of you will probably know that between 2020 and 2021, the government gave out a total of 79.3 billion loans to companies to help them survive during the pandemic restrictions. The problem, however, is whenever there is money, there is fraud and fraud follows the money. So I wanted to share with you a snippet of a document produced by the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy, specifically the annual report, which has just been released on these figures. So I want to begin with the conclusions and recommendations section, which in itself makes compelling reading. Even from the outset, it reads, the Comptroller and Auditor General qualified his opinion of the department's 2020 to 21 accounts due to eye-watering levels of estimated fraud and error in the COVID-19 business support schemes. During 2020 to 21, the department guaranteed 79.3 billion pounds of COVID-19 loans as part of its business support schemes and estimated that its losses to fraud and error to these schemes were in the region of 4.9 billion pounds. In the same period, of the 21.8 billion the department provided to local authorities acting as its agents to deliver COVID-19 grants to local businesses, it estimated that over 1 billion will be lost as a result of fraud and error. The department has only estimated levels of fraud and error in £11.5 billion of these grants and does not yet know how much will be lost to fraud and error within the remaining grants. The department considers that while its loan schemes are substantially impacted by fraud, its grant schemes are more impacted by error. As a result of these material levels of fraud and errors in COVID-19 loan and grant business support schemes the Comptroller and Auditor General qualified his opinion. As we've observed in our examination of some of these schemes, these losses represent taxpayers' money that could have been spent on other public services. The recommendation in conclusion being, the Department, as part of its Treasury Minute response, should detail how it will make sure that it is doing everything in its power to reduce the current taxpayer exposure to losses through fraud and error, and to address the reasons why its accounts were qualified. And the second part of these conclusions is just as chilling. The department does not have a good enough assessment of the levels of fraud and error in local authority administered business support grants. During 2020, 21 and 21 to 22, the department has provided funds to local authorities to distribute to local businesses in their areas through nine grant schemes. The department has so far only attempted to assess the extent of fraud and error in the initial three grant schemes administered in spring 2020. The Small Business Grant Fund, Retail, Hospitality and Leisure Grant Fund and the Local Authority Discretionary Grant Fund. The third part, just as chilling, the department does not know whether grants distributed by local authorities on its behalf have benefited businesses, including those most in need of that funding. Number four, the department was aware of the heightened fraud risks within its COVID-19 business support schemes from the outset, but did not make full use of all of the tools at its disposal to prevent and detect fraud. Number five, the department has yet to set out how it is learning lessons from managing COVID-19 business support schemes to better protect taxpayers' money in future. Number six, the post office's mismanagement of its Horizon program has had devastating consequences for individuals wrongly accused of fraud. The financial cost of compensating these individuals will largely fall on the public purse. Now, as Sky News rightly reports, early warning signs of fraud, like more than 120,000 new companies being registered, were missed by the government, which still does not know the true extent of the losses from these schemes. So between 2020 and 2021, the number of newly registered companies increased by more than 20% compared with the previous five years. Surprise, surprise, government grants for companies, company registrations went through the roof by 20% more than usual. But as with any kind of fraud, the more the delay, the more difficult it is to recover the money that's been fraudulently taken. 
Going back to the report, page nine, paragraph five, which is titled Fraud and Error Estimates in Business Support Schemes. Reading, during 2020 to 21, the department guaranteed 79.3 billion pounds of loans and provided 21.8 billion pounds in grant funding to local authorities in England as part of its response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The government guaranteed loans were provided through bounce back loan schemes coronavirus business interruption loan schemes and coronavirus large business interruption loan schemes. All three loan schemes were administered by the British Business Bank, one of the department's partner organisations. The grant funding was distributed by local authorities, primarily acting as agents of the department. And from paragraph six, of the £79.3 billion of COVID-19 loans, the department estimated its credit loss at £19.8 billion. That is where lenders will call on government guarantees as borrowers default or loans will otherwise not be repaid. And this includes an estimated loss of £4.9 billion to fraud through its loan schemes. Now it's understandable that wherever money is available, fraud will follow. But taking from the summary provided in this report, it's quite disappointing to say the least that it says in the summary the following. The department will not know the true extent of total fraud and error within its COVID-19 business support schemes for some time, as its assessments gradually catch up with payments made. We are concerned that identifying fraud and error so late will hinder recovery efforts as the money will have been spent and all the trails will have long gone cold. We are unconvinced that the department's current plans for recovering the money claimed fraudulently will act as a sufficient deterrent to those considering committing fraud. Given the department had anticipated a heightened risk with these schemes, we are disappointed that it does not appear to have used all of the tools at its disposal to minimise fraud and error. It is now imperative that the department learns lessons from its COVID-19 business support schemes to inform current and future schemes whether these are providing funds during a crisis or as part of business as usual. So I don't know about all of you watching, but I certainly work very hard for every penny that I have and every penny that I keep. And I would like to keep those pennies and pounds, not pay them through additional taxes to cover up mistakes, errors and fraud. So I think that you'll probably have some comments to put in the box below. I think you'll probably want to share this with somebody and I certainly hope that there is more work to be done to recover these funds and to do a little bit more to find out what really went wrong and what can be done about it. So I hope that was enlightening for you. I'm sorry that it's not positive news, but all the same, as I said at the outset of the video, I think you should know. I think everyone should know. And of course, thank you for watching.